Hey guys, I am finally filming my finished video for Black Lace Sampler. I don't know why this took me so long and I apologize. I meant to do this like at least a week ago. <laughs> and um, uh, yeah, I don't know what it was. I think I still am sick. I don't look very sick, which is good, but I definitely feel sick. So I think I was self-conscious about being on camera, but then it's a finished video, so you don't really have to look at my face at all. In fact, let's stop it. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna get into the close-up right now and then stay tuned till after that for the giveaway details if you're interested. All right, so this is Black Lace Sampler by Rosewood Manor. That's the pattern. I stitched this on 28 count antique white Monaco. You guys know that Monaco is like my old faithful tried and true fabric. <laughs> and um, I was so excited to start this one that I just picked the fabric that I had a ton of uh, in my closet, which is Monaco. So 28 count antique white Monaco. Uh, there is, this whole border section is two over two. And then the center section is charted as one over one. So the border is all the same all the way around. So maybe I'll just show you the very top. So there's this variation between actual cross stitches for the border and these kind of larger shapes and um, some on this outer border here too. And then um, back stitching. So you can see there's these motifs of all these tiny little squares to backstitch and once I got going, particularly on this um, this pattern here, these little squares, I actually, um, I didn't quite memorize it, but I came close to memorizing it and uh, it went pretty quickly. So if you are hesitant about this pattern, um, I would say that I found it had a really nice balance of like cross stitches and back stitches and then the one over one too. So it kind of has something for everybody. So that, is the border um, and then I really like this this outer kind of framed border with all these little curly Q pieces those were really fun to do and I am pretty sure that I got all of them I did a double check but you know you never know <laughs> so I did the border first um, I think I did this inner square first um, and I counted it a lot because I knew that this one over one section, um, I didn't want to have a mistake in there. I didn't want to get the spacing wrong and then have it be off center. I was really worried about that. <laughs> so um, I did this kind of inner square first. And then I think I did these shapes um, while I still had kind of two lengths of thread. And then from there on, I just kind of interchanged between doing these um, cross stitches and doing the back stitch, like whatever I felt like I wanted to work on. For a while, this was my laundry project, meaning um, I took it upstairs to the like laundry laundromat <laughs> in my building um, because it was just, it's just, it was just black and it was all pretty much the same. I did take the pattern with me, but I didn't really need it that much. So it was perfect for that. And then this intersection. So this is all one over one as I mentioned, and obviously it's where all the color is. <laughs> and I just really like it. There's an alphabet at the top, and some flowers, a crown, some birds, a bow, and or scissors. They look like scissors to me. I'm sure they're not, but I just can't shake that. Um, a butterfly, and yeah, then uh, the year at the bottom here. I really like this center piece. I really, really like the colors that are in it. When I was pulling and buying colors for this project, I just, they're all really interesting tones and they're all like fairly bright. And I just really, really like these color combinations, like all the way up here, these little flowers here. I just think they're so pretty. So there are some definite color families, like for pinks, there'd be like a light pink, a medium pink, and a darker pink. Um, there's the same for blues, the greens, obviously. There's kind of the same for these golds. There's like a tan and a kind of a middle gold and then a lighter gold. And yeah, I just think it it comes together really, really well. And you could also have fun in here too in the middle. I rarely change anything, <laughs> but um, you could substitute some really different colors in here if you wanted to do it like all pastels or you wanted to do it 
and make it have like a really antique look and use more like muted colors, I think you could do that. This lends itself really well to that. And also there's a tiny butterfly here that's really cute. I actually didn't think my camera would do this well, this close up, so seeing as it does, let's get real close up. And you can have a nice good look. So lots of flowers. Um, I think I mentioned I did this part one color at a time. Um, the key kind of went from the most used color to the least used color, so it ended up working out. I think the first two were the greens. And uh, it didn't require too, too much counting. <laughs> Once I had the alphabet in, I did the alphabet first. And then I tried to kind of go from there. And I mean, there might be a couple that are a little bit off, like these little flowers that are kind of out in the middle of nowhere, or like this little thing. But um, I don't think you can tell. I think it looks fine. And then like I said, uh, it lets you do the year down at the bottom. And then I put my little initials all the way at the very bottom corner of the whole thing. So that is Black Lace Sampler. I am so happy I found this and stitched this. This is one of those patterns that, like Rosewood Manor, if I recall, I don't have any other patterns from. I think it's one of those companies where I never really had anything strike me from them, you know? And uh, this one just popped up out of nowhere. Oh, the cat's on the table. Oh geez, you guys, oh geez. Um, this one just popped up out of nowhere and I loved it so instantly and so much. So yeah, I'm really happy that I ended up finding this one. So that is Black Lace Sampler. So that is my Black Lace Sampler finish. Um, you guys have been really supportive about this one, especially I think quite a few of you liked it as much as I did. So thank you so much for that. And as per usual, this is a giveaway video where I will be, I didn't mean to <laughs> like mute myself with the pattern. This is a giveaway video where I will be giving away this Rosewood Manor pattern. Um, as I said, I think in my last video, um, I did kind of pop the staple one of the staples out of the middle of it just because I folded it back on itself so many times. But other than that, it is in very good shape. It didn't write on it at all. And it also gives you, um, there's like a little bell pull. I don't know what this is. Let me show it to you. Can you see that? There's that, that pattern is in here. And I think it also gives you one more. Oh, it's a bookmark, black lace bookmark. And then yes, it gives you two other little minis, which I'm gonna try to show you. So there is the main pattern, there's the bookmark, and then there's two little minis um, that are kind of pulled from the larger one over one center. There's like a couple of the flower pieces are kind of put by themselves with different borders. So really pretty. It says you can do them as mini samplers or needle book covers. That would be super cute. Oh, I lied. There's a third. There's a fourth one. There's also one called Royal Birthday. Um, this pattern was designed by Karen Kluba. And she says in here, I created this design on the day that the royal baby was born in England. It happened to be my birthday. Etc. Etc. So that is this one at the bottom. So there's four mini patterns and this big gorgeous black lace sampler pattern in here. Um, as per usual, I will ship this anywhere. You have until this day on the bottom of the screen right now to enter this giveaway. All you need to do to enter is be a subscriber to my channel, please and thank you. And also leave a comment down below on this video. It can be any comment. It doesn't need to be just enter me, although it could be. <laughs> And please be over 18. If you're not over 18, please get your parents' permission to have me, a stranger, send something to your house. <laughs> and that's it. So um, I'm going to say it one more time because I always feel like I want to keep the date on here a little bit longer. <laughs> so you have until this day to enter the date on the screen. All you need to do is be a subscriber to my channel and leave any comment on this video. I will do the draw on this day and I will send this to a stitcher anywhere in the world. And that's it. That's Black Lace Sampler. Oh, I'd love to know, no, I was going to say, I'd love to know um, what you guys would like me to start next, but I don't know if I'm ready for that. <laughs> I was just talking about how I got to like pare it down. So 
Maybe we'll maybe we'll avoid that question for now. Although if you do have a very strong like strong preference as to what you would like to see me stitch next, feel free to make that your comment. Other than that, um, I'm looking forward to reading your comments and thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye.